What's going on guys? Troy here with TJ Lawn Service and in this video I'm going to be showing you my 2020 uh, fall cleanup setup. Uh, at the beginning of the year I showed you my 2020 mowing season setup and not much has changed but we did get one major big piece of uh, equipment for this year that I do want to show off in this video. So the beginning is kind of be me going over um, what we're using as far as like blowers and all this other stuff, our tactics on how we uh, want to tackle the leaves this year. The leaves, sorry, wow. Um, and then I will show you the big piece of equipment, technically two, but it's all part of one. So let's get into it. So this is all the equipment that we have in the enclosed trailer on a daily basis when it comes to mowing the lawns. Obviously, we technically use pretty much all of this when it comes to the cleanups, uh, because sometimes we're not just doing leaves, the blowers over there, we're also uh, trimming. Sorry about the phone going off. Um, so I do have my steel, I believe it's the HSA 66 battery powered hedge trimmer, and I love that thing. But we also do have the Echo, uh, sorry about the lighting, the Echo PAS 2620 uh, combi tool that right now has the edger head on it, but I also have articulating hedge trimmers that we put on that as well. So that's for when it comes to like trimming and stuff like that, if we do a cleanup like that, but when it's just leaves, I have the steel BR800C and the BR700. I've said in videos in the past I bought the 800 first and then, I don't want to say downgraded, but the second one I got was the 700. Yes, it's not as good as the 800, but I didn't think I needed a second 800, so I went to the 700. My decision making was between the 6 and 7, but they're so similar and like the, besides specs, the main difference that got me was the 700 had the same two that the 800 has where you spin this little thing right here and the tube can go in and out. I didn't want another uh, like a piece. I don't like those separate pieces to the tubes. So that's why I got the 700 and I love both of those blowers. Now yes, I do have my John Deere rider here that we do have the Ballard chute on. So we mulch up leaves sometimes. I do not use the Cubicat at Walk Behind for that. I've said in videos in the past this thing is very bad for mulching leaves because it does not have a bog down feature. I may use the 21 push for bagging at some point uh, just because we'll put it in here and then maybe tarp it after. I don't know. I've done that in the past, but that was also when we were just starting with the leaf cleanups and growing from there. So that's like a last resort tactic. Um, I still do have my handheld uh, Troy built blower here. I'm not saying we're going to use that, but it's there. And then I have this Husqvarna one that if you guys know from previous videos, I got this unbelievably discounted when the Sears by my house closed. And my plan for this this year... Uh, many people may disagree, but what I want to do is, if parents are okay with it, uh, I will let them know that it is sanitized and everything. It's such a small blower and not very powerful that will clean it and let the kids use it if they want to be outside and do the leaves with us. That's like maybe one or two houses will do it this year of the many, many cleanups we have. But I think it's cool. I have a, a very good relationship with a lot of my customers and a lot of the... Uh, the customer's children are always watching us as we work, like weekly when we come. I have houses where they're just like sitting in the window smiling. So it's something that, uh, you know, and this is coming from a guy that used to do substitute teaching, working at um, camps and stuff like that. I love kids. So uh, if that's if an opportunity presents itself that a kid wants to use that blower while we work, let them do it. We will give them safety equipment, the headgear, the eye gear, uh, but only if the parents are okay with it. Now, that's basically everything in here I want to say. Um, not much else to talk about. I'm just doing a quick little walkthrough before I show you the big tool we got. But all right, let's go outside and I'll show you that. One thing I do want to add, guys, uh, we do have the sticker wall on the uh, enclosed door here. It's not fully uh, filled up yet, obviously. I probably haven't even done 25% of the door. But um, I got some big guys on here. We got Brian's Lawn Maintenance, Wyatt's Lawn Service. Uh, we have even Ballard, Blades of Grass Lawn Care, all of them. Um, so if you guys want, I'll leave my Instagram in the description and uh, just message me and we'll set something up. Now this is the big piece of equipment I was talking about earlier that we purchased for this year. It's a 5x10 uh, dump trailer that we also put uh, the WeBang mini debris loader on here. I'm not going to take this off right now, but the debris loader is under there. You can see it's wet because it's drizzling right now. It's probably going to start downpouring in a little bit. It did say it's supposed to rain today. So I'm trying to make this quick. Um, and there's a reason I have this bucket on here is because I don't want water getting into the tube, which it did once already. Not fun. But you can see in here, even for a 5x10, it's pretty big. I mean, it may not show on the camera. It's a little dark. But uh, we fit a lot in there. 
Um, we've done a few leaf cleanups already, and this thing has served its purpose. Uh, I'm talking like not just the dump trailer itself, but the debris loader. Um, it's I want to say a six horsepower engine. Um, so it's not for like you big guys out there, but we're starting off, and you know, it does what it does what I need. One thing I do want to do with the dump trailer over here is you'll see the battery right here. Let me actually open this up. I usually keep it locked, but I opened it earlier for the video because I knew I wanted to do this. I have a thing right here that shows the battery and it's on fair right now when I push that. Oh, you can see right there. So I've seen that guys, I, I want to say the battery's in here. Um, I've seen guys, I think Harbor Freight has it, where you can mount a solar panel on here that connects to the battery. So that might be the next next step with the dump trailer. Oh, I gotta go close the door on the enclosed trailer. I got two trailers, guys. <laughs> it's still crazy to me to think about. Obviously, at the beginning of the season when I bought this uh, enclosed trailer, I still had the old one if you watch videos from last year. Um, I miss the utility trailer. Not that I wish I still had it because I would default to it. Um, but there are certain things I liked about it. I did like, why is this door not closing? I did like that customers can obviously see when we pull up the equipment that we have. But I think the enclosed trailer is a billboard on wheels. Not that the other one wasn't because that one I did have signs on. And sorry for my dog barking in the background. I just love that trailer. It also, yes, was a 7x14 single axle, and that wasn't going to last years because eventually I needed to get a double axle for all the equipment. Um, but yeah, I currently may have a deal in the works. I don't even want to say it yet and jinx myself that um, for the next month or two, I'm going to be using this dump trailer that I did buy at the beginning of the year. Um, and I may be trading the dump trailer for two items i will tell you that later because i don't want to jinx myself but all i know is uh i'm coming out on the better side of that deal not that i'm screwing the other guy but he wants the dump trailer and i want what he's giving so you know it's a fair trade um and then you know if i need a dump trailer at the beginning of next year for landscape jobs or anything like that i'll look into it later but yep that's my setup guys i appreciate you guys watching and uh see you in the next one